Here. Super I don't know. I'm here to do a review of our Glocks in 9mm. No, not really. I'm here to do a review <laughs> over Pure Energy 6845 air tank and uh, Steely 48 3000. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which one should I do first? I'll start with the sucky one first. Okay. This air tank was alright when I shot about one loader a game. But now pretty much sucks. <laughs> um yeah, alright. Uh gauge. Uh yeah. feed nipples alright and all that. It's a pretty good tank for a starter. If you're a starter. Only starters. <laughs> Instead of CO2, you should get this $50 Steely tank. Uh, yeah, but they suck. And they're heavy. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about this one. Now, a pure energy fiber tank with the fibers, you know. Yeah. Uh, real nice gauge, real nice everything on the rig. Uh, It's light. I can probably throw this thing like 20 foot up in the air at least. Easily. Um, I had to get it re hydroed in 2013. Yeah, so. This tank's just a good tank, but peanut tanks, they're. I would like one better just so they're much compact, but this one's like bigger. And so they have a bigger target to hit. So let me hook it up to my gun real fast and I'll show you. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I'm supposed to show them, show my alien that I caught in my backyard the other day in this video, huh? Okay, hold on. See, with this air tank with the peanut, you'd have about half the target to hit. But with this, it's like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> you're trying to work over the <laughs> air tank. And so yeah, it's a pretty good air tank overall. I would, I would suggest getting it even though it's kind of big. I'd suggest that you get a Crossfire 48, 45 first. So yeah, here's Here's the alien filler that I'm supposed to show for some reason. Reason, yeah. So I'll sell this thing to you if you want it. Ten dollars right now. I swear to y'all will. Okay. Well, there's the alien. There's my review over the air tanks, and see y'all later.